Hello! In this video, I will show you how to add and configure an integrated measuring system to Bosch Rextrot Control X drive. We will test two Bosch Rextrot IMS systems. First will be Hyperface 1 volt sinusoidal signal IMS with 40 micrometers analog resolution and 1.25 micrometers measuring steps. And second will be SSI S3 IMS with resolution of 250 nanometers. To configure our drive, we use latest version of Control X Works software and then use engineering tool Control X Drive Engineering. New window opens up and now we can connect and then communicate to our drive. Our IMS will be connected to multi-encoder port XG21 located in front of the drive. When we click on it, window for encoder assignment opens up. And by default, XG21 port should be configured to automatic encoder scan. So, if for any reason this function is deactivated, we can always set it back. Next, we'll go to Motor, Mechanics and Measuring System Configurator. And here, we'll select Editor for Encoder 2. Now, when we activate Operation Mode without anything connected to port XG21, System will first look for Hyperface Interface. If not found, it will look for N.2.2 Interface, then for N.2.1 Interface, and if none found, switch to Operating Mode. Now, I'll connect our Hyperface IMS, switch System to Configuration Mode, and then back to Operation Mode. System right away finds our encoder and switches to operating mode. With no encoder connected, to avoid this switching delay, we can deactivate scan function. Next, we'll assign this port to System Encoder 2. Encoder configuration window opens up, and to see more details, we can activate Expert View. Please note that Control X Drive reads from memory of Hyperface Encoder all basic settings for this model and automatically pre-configure them for us. So, it is set as linear encoder with matching resolutions, basic evaluations and extended evaluations. So, let's test it in Operation Mode. Our first try to switch to Operation Mode was unsuccessful and we have a message that our mechanic setup is incorrect. So, let's go to Axis Mechanics and Scaling Configurator. Here we can see yellow exclamation mark. And when we point on it, we can see that our problem is load type configuration. So next we'll change scaling type to linear, arrow exclamation mark disappears, and system adds for us configurator for linear axis. Since we'll not use this encoder for positioning, only for measuring, we can leave feed constant at default value of 10 mm per revolution. Now we'll try to switch to operating mode again, and this time there are no errors. Next we'll go to position data reference window, select position data referencing using current position, and then activate drive controlled homing procedure. 
Now our scale is configured in the reference, so let's test it. So here is our scale, and here is our measuring point. So when we move our measuring head, system reads position properly, except direction is wrong. So in our next step, we'll invert position data evaluation. For that change to take effect, we must reference axis again. And now our reader head is reading position and direction properly. Next, we'll disconnect our Hyperface IMS from port XG21 and connect SSI IMS. This time, we need to insert basic data manually. So first, we'll set scale resolution to 250 nanometers per increment. We can leave everything else in this window unchanged. And then we need to configure SSI transmission protocol. So for our IMS, baud rate is 1000 kilohertz. Coding is binary code. Telegram type is Telegram 1. Number of position bits is 27. And there's one status bit. Next, we'll activate operation mode. And we can see our drive is ready for operation. Next, we'll reference position data for this encoder. And now we are ready to test it. Here is our scale. Here is our measuring point. And when we move our slider, we can see that our system is reading position properly. Thank you for your attention.